kind of generating some areas of snow here. And here comes the next system. Again, this is a very weak one, and it's going to have uh, uh, an impact tomorrow, but not a real big impact. The, the stuff we have to worry about is Friday. So I just want to get right to the model. We're going to spend some time on this. So uh, here we are right now with that system to the north. That moves off, and I think the drive to work tomorrow or the bus stop tomorrow is going to be dry. But then during the morning, a little stripe of snow, very light, I mean, very little impact, is going to across the thumb. And then as we get into the later morning hours, perhaps north of M59, again, the stripe of very light snow, nothing worse than a dusting. One thing the model is uh, not really picking up on is that some scattered light rain showers will probably also be popping up here, especially to the south. So it could end up being a wintry mix during the course of the afternoon. All right, that all moves out. Friday morning, we start dry. Another weak little thing. This is a trough of low pressure, basically a cold front that didn't graduate from cold front school. That's moving off to the east. We stay dry through the daylight hours on Friday. Then this warm front approaches. That's the front edge of a significantly warmer air mass. So Friday evening, a band of rain passes through ahead of this warm front. After it goes by, we get more unstable and some heavier downpours come through the area. Some of us could get an inch of rain Friday night, but we're into the warm air. Temperatures will go up into the 50s, and then this cold front will go through Saturday morning and temperatures will fall by Saturday afternoon. And by the way, this is a pretty dynamic system. Look at the area of severe weather expected down to our south on Friday. All right, tonight the flurries end 24, the overnight low, and then tomorrow again, a little bit of light snow to the north in the morning, perhaps a wintry mix, very, very light in the afternoon, but more progress getting into the upper 30s to near 40 degrees tomorrow. And then as we get into Friday, now this high is the afternoon temperature. If you're out and about Friday afternoon, that's what to expect. We go into the 50s Friday night and we start the day Saturday in the 50s. Then those temps fall. We'll be in the upper 30s by the end of the day on Saturday, Karen. And then Sunday, Monday, we break back out into the sunshine. And look at this, another warming trend coming our way.